back with another episode of the Ravens Roundup Draft Prospects. Today we're checking out Ole Miss wide receiver A.J. Brown. Um, I think junior coming out from uh, University of Mississippi, Ole Miss, as they say. Uh, I've seen this kid from high school all the way through his college career. And uh, in high school, he was one of the few receivers that can dominate a game. You play off of him. He can take a, a slant or a hitch or a screen to the house. Uh, you bring somebody up on him. You know, he can uh, go over top of you. Uh, run by you, and he's great after the catch. Uh, once he gets the ball in his hand, he's it's like a little wide receiver. I mean, not a wide receiver, a running back. Uh, strong, athletic, not very fast, but runs great routes. Uh, does a good job of setting up routes for later on in the game. Excellent pair of hands, and uh, the only lack I see on AJ is his speed. Simply just straight out burner speed. Now he's not slow, but he's not a, he's not a burner like uh, Hollywood Brown or something like that. But let's get into A.J.'s Brown film session. I picked the Auburn game. Uh, that was one of their toughest games. I think they even lost this game. But let's get into it and see what A.J. Brown does against Auburn. Runs a slant here. you see him right here. Let me bag it up so we can kind of talk about where he is pre-snap. So pre-snap, this is him right here. It's A.J. Brown right here. Running the RPO. He's running a slant in the open, to the open spot. Stick that foot, snap his head around, and the good thing, good good thing he did was he starts to come flat. To keep this the little bit of separation he has, he's gonna come flat down this line to keep that separation. Cause if he drift back at all, he's gonna drift back here, and this guy can undercut it and knock it down, or undercut it and pick it. Look at that hands catching. That's what I love about him: catching the ball with his hands, not letting it get to his body. Bring it on down. Next play. He's right here. He's going to run a little shallow route. He doesn't get the ball, but watch how he comes through there and how open he is. Stutter steps with it, trying to see what the defender's going to do. And look how he's open right now. Quarterback's not looking at him, but look at that. Plenty of separation. Next one, he's going to run a little whip route. Again, he's here in the slot. Now, he's he plays a lot of slot with Ole Miss. But don't get it twisted. Now he don't have. He's not confined to a slot guy. He can, he can play outside and slot. But they just got more, got him in the slot more because that's where they throw the ball a lot. Uh, when they had Evan Ingram, they 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 had him in the slot and that's what they did. And you know that's that's probably where most of their balls going. So hey, put your best player there. Bam. Nobody's there. Just sitting down and come out. This simple route. You know, they rally to the ball good on Auburn's part. But normally, if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, he break that first tackle. He runs the slug over here. Coming at, running that slant like he did a minute ago to the open spot. And then stuck his foot in the ground and posted it up. Let's go back to it and see that again. So all he's doing is they running the same RPO that they just ran a couple plays ago. And instead of him sitting in this open spot back here like he did a minute ago, he's going to stick his foot in the ground and let the safety come up go right by him. Set it up good. Boom. Look at that. Safety is so off balance. He's still looking in the backfield. AJ's about to turn up. And again, find the ball. It was a great job of tracking the ball. A great job of tracking the ball and finding it. Right, right here. He's sitting in the soft spot. Now, he, should, he has a seam on this play right here. But there's no need to just push it up to, to that safety. Let me sit right here and get this ball and not get some yards after the catch. To me, that tells me he does a good job of reading defenses and understanding coverage and then knowing what his responsibility is in the route. Or in the concept, rather. Because a lot of guys would have just ran themselves to that safety and be like, well, I did my job or whatever. But he understood that it was safety back there, so I'm going to let me sit down and settle down, get this ball in, and do something with it. He's running a curl. He's sitting right here. He's going to run a curl out of the slot. Gonna come straight back. Did a good job. See, curled at 20. Ended up catching the ball at about the 18. Did a good job of coming back to keep separation from this guy and this guy. Again, good job of knowing the coverage and sitting down in the zone and working back to help the quarterback out. Now he ran the red zone slant. This is one of the things I think he'll be good at because when teams go man down here inside the red zone, he does. He's good with his feet. He's good with his hands. He's not a body catcher, so he can get you that that quick slant over the middle, you know, against a blitz or something like that. When teams go man down here in the red zone, watch it. Watch his footwork at the top of this route. 
Look at that. Left that guy. Bring it back. He's gonna break him down real slow. Got him off balance. Look at that right there. Got him off balance. If the ball was coming to him and delivered on time, easy six because nobody's in there. But they went somewhere else with the ball. All right. This is AJ right here running this route. And again, he's going to give you like a double move. He's going to stick inside and just keep going. You'll see him uh, when he makes his move. You'll see the uh, little rubber pellets pop up from the turf. From the turf. Going to let post again. Look at him. Same result. You can't really see it, but he stabbed inside. 31 bit on it, and now he's over the top for a touchdown. That's a slot fade right here. He's in the slot. He's going to run his fade on this guy right here. Then go get the ball. High point it. Watch the little hesitation. Slow down let like you think I'm not going, and just take off. That little hesitation gave him enough room to get by, and again, he's a great tracker of the ball. A great tracker of the ball. Let's see. Let's follow it. Looking for it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Hands up late. Perfect. Way to find the ball. That way, your quarterback doesn't have to be 100% accurate for AJ. He can catch all kinds of balls. Low, high, uh, back shoulder, over the top, whatever it may be. As my phone goes off, AJ Brown's the guy that, that can go do it. If he's not the first wide receiver picked, He's definitely going to be the top two or three, in my opinion. Uh, I would love to see him in a Ravens uniform, but, you know, he can work that slot middle type of thing, do some of the things that Willie Sneed did, but do it as a at a higher level, being, you know, younger and athletic. Uh, I just, I, I like the kid. I've seen him for five to six years, you know, going against him in high school, and, you know, I would love to see him in a purple and black. But, you know, whatever team gets A.J. Brown, they'll get a super competitive kid, uh, All-American, and he was in an under All-American game for baseball and football so you, that's the kind of athlete you're gonna get but um again this is aj brown this is coach evans make sure you like comment mm -hmm. subscribe and share these on all your platforms and uh tune in we'll do some more receivers uh coming up soon especially uh look for danny isabella soon and also you can go back and check out my hollywood brown video and also my um nakia harry video again thank you guys for watching see you next time